So, 10 drivers in Rotax 177, led by the Dan Holland Racing driver, Ben Davis, Chris Thomas, P2, Matthew Easton and Oliver Appleby on row two, Henry Ayres and Colin Davis on row number three. Row four is Charlie Whaley and James Ockenden. Row five, Lewis Large and Ben Cowley. 10 carts, 15 minutes. This is the Rotax 177 Grand Final. Here we go into the final corner. Can Ben Davis make it two final wins out of two for the Dan Holland Racing Team? He makes a good start and takes the lead into turn number one. All 10 drivers through cleanly and it's uh, good to see all 10 drivers out there because there was a couple of incidents uh, in the pre-final that uh, saw Lewis Large take a bit of damage, James Ockenden also taking a bit of damage, but although both those cars have been repaired and we are off and racing. And uh, race number 24, Rotax 177 final. And uh, oh, there's Charlie Whaley, you can see, with the uh, white race suit there, trying to defend his position from James Offenden. And, uh, ah, welcome back, Anthony. Good job, good job. I was, I was saying that, you know, there are people that have said that they, you sound a bit like Anthony Davidson on commentary, but with the sunglasses and the, there, there, was, there, was, there was a striking resemblance. Was there? There was, yes. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, I, the, ma the mask and the sunglasses have come three quarters of your head now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but no, good job, and uh, Harry in there. So, haven't missed much. I'll bring you up to quick speed. Like, yes, like, yes. Like, like a recap at the start of this week's episode. Yes. Uh, ben Davis has made a good start. Okay. And uh, Chris Thomas from the outside of the front row has gone with him. Uh, Oliver Appleby's just making a move here, but I don't pay for that because you've seen it. Yes. Uh, and he's up in the second he's up in the second place now. But all ten drivers, including those those what crashed in the pre-final, are out there to start this uh, fifteen minute race. Yeah, no, excellent. And uh, now we need to cue the theme music. You've had the recap of last week's yes. episode. Now we have the theme music, the cast and the crew, and now it's back to live action. Excellent. There we go. Back to live action and 13 and a half minutes left on the timer. Leading the way by three tenths of a second, nearly four, is Ben Davis at the moment. He's got Oliver Appleby and Chris Thomas, the, the main culprits uh, of, yes. the, uh, of the uh, the 177 class yes. uh, for senior Rotax as they go through. And there's a good bit of camera, uh, a good bit of engine that's, sound that's you heard. Noise, as yes, I know that uh, the wind has been playing havoc with some of the, the microphones. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the engine noise being blown away from the, the cameras at the moment. And uh, there is the number 34 cart uh, chased by the number 56. So uh, uh, Appleby, who is a British Championship rookie, uh, is doing a great job of uh, keeping Chris Thomas, who has, has won this championship before and has represented Team Great Britain uh, in the Rotax Grand Finals, and Ben Davis, who's been racing an awful long time. I think this is I think possibly his sixth or seventh season karting. And now, oh, the, yeah. the mysterious voice yeah. in our head has said <laughs> there is... I get that all the time. I know. Uh, a couple of spots of rain out there. Nothing dramatic, nothing to worry about. Michael or Fish is said, there? Michael Fish said that on the BBC before there was a hurricane back in 1987. But you <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. Yeah, Everything will be fine. To remember that, yes. And then carnage. Yes. Well, I mean, it, the car... The, well, even if there are a few spots of rain, the tyres now fully up to temperature. Yes, they but are. But the thing is, with only 10 carts, and this is the thing, when there are 34 carts in the race, then there are carts spread out over the circuit. So there's, there's hot tyres going over, like, the, the rubber, of the, the, the tarmac on the track all the time. You know, with only 10 carts, they're all pretty much neck and neck. You know, there's 30 seconds where turn three is has got, you know, no tyres going over it. So any moisture that does find its way onto said race circuit. And uh, now, so Ben Davis is the guinea pig here, if there is rain. I mean, at the, the moment, the lap times, I mean... Last time around, Henry is. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's Three good. Three wide here, as that was the 95 going straight from fourth to second there as they go through. Matthew Easton, take a bow, sir. Yes, that was a, an excellent masterclass piece of driving there. It looked like he was going to just sit behind, and then he thought, actually, no, there's a gap, and went for it, and it was beautifully calculated. 11 minutes left on the clock, and moves up into second place. Can he hold that second place for the 11 minutes? Is yet to be seen. Yes, but uh, I say so ben, ben Davis, he's sort of received Cinded the lead to uh, Oliver Appleby. There's a look at so uh, there's some blueness there, but there's some greyness as well. Yeah. Uh, ah, but look at the way that the wind is blowing the grey towards us, and Ben Davis has now dropped back to was that fourth position. I was looking at lap times uh, at the moment. Well, here we go. 38.52 second. Henry Ayres has got the fast lap of the race. Then on Ayres in cart number 29 for KR Sport. 
is right there in fifth position. Last time around, let's have a look. Well, Matthew Beeson does a personal best lap of 37.54. So obviously, whatever moisture there is in the air at the moment, it's not affecting grip levels. But Ben Davis lost an awful lot of pace quite quickly there, and he's back to fourth position. Appleby currently leads by a whisker over Easton. Then a half second gap back to Chris Thomas in third. No, it's Ben Davis and Chris Thomas side by side for third. Thomas on the inside. Oh, Ooh. a little bit of contact. A little bit of door handling there. And uh, you know, so Thomas is there, but then it's Henry Ayres in the number 29 car in fifth. And then Lewis Large in sixth with Colin Davis seventh and Charlie Whaley in eight. So really, the top eight uh, still pretty much nose to tail with 10 minutes to go. Uh, ben Cowley uh, is ninth and James Ockenden runs in 10th place. Now, Colin Davis and James Ockenden, there is a master's class for, for drivers that are over a certain age limit. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think it may be 35. Hmm. Uh, I, 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 I will defer to somebody who wants to tell me any differently and put a knock on the door. Uh, you know, but I think that's what the uh, the Masters class is over 35. I would just qualify by half a <laughs> that a lie? Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 you're no, sure. no. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know, I, 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 if you see me walk around the paddock, I look 50. My <laughs> mental age is 15. But I'm somewhere in the middle, oh, in, in, in actuality. There you go. Yeah, but uh, up the lead, it's uh, Oliver Appleby. Now, Appleby led quite convincingly uh, through the heats and uh, had a good battle with Ben Davis. Ben Davis got the better of him in the pre-final. Um, and there's nothing like this. But ben Davis just seen his teammate win the, the previous race. There's nothing like watching your teammate win to give you as a driver a, a bit of a confidence boost. But he's got the confidence. He's got the cold racing, number 95, of Matthew Easton. On a red speed chassis, so normally cold racing to the green Tony car chassis, but you can see between the bodywork there that's a red, red speed chassis. It's a still part of the uh, OTK family, so uh, which is so they're all built in the same factory, yes. They just have different rooms they get painted. In. Ah, I see, yes. Wow. And, and, and some will say there are very subtle differences, some will say no, it's a different color. Mm. There we go. Uh, so it's a red speed chassis, and Easton is uh, showing a fair turn of speed in it as you come into the final corner. You see tyres squealing, you know, a little bit of oversteer there for Oliver Appleby as he turned in, and he's, again, a bit of an oversteer again. And we saw that again from Ben Davis in, the, in one of the earlier heats where, you know, coming out of turn four, the back end of that number 34 car seems a bit loose. Um, I mean, I know they say that loose is fast, but with Seven minutes, seven and three quarter minutes to go. If the, if the rear end has already lost grip, you're going to be struggling. And you can see he has to take two bites out of the steering wheel to get turned in there. And he certainly is starting to back the pack up. So, again, the man in my head is telling me that the spitting of rain has intensified out on the circuit, according to our cameramen who, of course, bear the brunt of the weather at every event that we go to. And we thank them for their... Uh, help here in the 95 oh, good. of yeah. Easton Matt, down yes. the inside of turn two gets Appleby and takes the lead of this final and already as well as is that Davis trying Ooh. to fight back and there's contact between the two of them and Appleby said no you are not taking that position as well they're getting that now is that because things are getting a little slippery you can see on the screen there yeah the dro drop droplets of water uh, someone asking Roman Nikolai on uh, who won the minimax final well Roman why were you tuned in that's number one that's bad uh, number two please know that Landau International's own Harry Linden has won the minimax final provisionally subject of course to post race Paul Classen um, I mean, post race scrutineering. Uh, they're coming through the second chicane there, and let's have a look lap times. Well, the leader, Matthew Easton's best lap was a 37.54. His last time around was a 37.8. Uh, so, yeah, a little, the, the pace has dropped off a little bit. I mean, this is great stuff. I mean, the top seven drivers are all together. Charlie Whaley has slipped back in eighth a little bit, but not by far, only by 1.5 seconds. There's Whaley coming onto the screen now. The very distinctive Mike Spencer's uh, motorsport driver. And here is another move. That's Ben Davis now fighting back. And that was Lewis Large, I think, uh, losing a position. So the, yeah. the, the front pack comprises Matthew Easton, uh, Oliver Appleby, Ben Davis, Lewis Large, Chris Thomas, Henry Ayres, and Colin Davis. Yeah, it was a very uh, opportunistic move there from Davis to get back from Lewis Large. You, you saw uh, Large take the position earlier on in that lap. And again, same lap, just a couple of corners later down the road. 
Davis retakes that spot. So five and a half minutes left on the clock. Everything's still all to play for here as the wind intensifies and so do the spots of rain. Yes, now more questions coming. Who won the junior Rotax final? We haven't had it yet. Yeah, there you the go. Answer. You've got to stay tuned and find out. This is the second of the finals. We have still got uh, Honda Cadet, junior Rotax and senior Rotax to come. This is the... Uh, the, the Minimax was the uh, sort of the, 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 the starter, and uh, we haven't reached the uh, main course yet, so this is sort of like, you know, the, the, the glass of wine you have between the starter and while they're cooking the main course. Absolutely, it's a very tasty glass of wine, if it is one, because uh, the race will be very good. The top four are starting to break away, though. Eastern, Appleby, Davis, and Large. Uh, Lewis Large, that scary-looking incident at the st in the pre-final, uh, obviously, suffering no ill effects at the moment or at all no still driving well holding on to that fourth place and trying to go down the inside well, for third gets yeah. it done nicely done there and is it looks like is he a bit warm in that race suit uh, yeah and, he, and he's <laughs> in a half yes uh, that is that that could be a that could be a problem doing a black t-shirt on that well that's just uh you know that's a uh, well, maybe the zipper is broken but it's a uh, Sort of acting like a bit of a balloon effect, isn't it? It is indeed. I suppose that's not the most aerodynamic way of uh, wearing a race suit. Um, looks more like he's wearing a leather jacket. So we'll see what happens there. He's a uh, sort of, but he, it's, it's not slowing him down. Put it that no. way. No. Um, he's gone large, shall we say? Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, the rain. The, the rain. The, nothing. Nothing has really untoward uh, and, and happened it hasn't developed oh, there's a move Henry Ayres going up the inside of Chris Thomas and Chris Thomas the number 56 cart slips back to 7th position the, the, the tail end of this league group and Charlie Whaley is still is still manfully trying to cling on to the lead pack as Ben Davis now takes the lead but Matthew Easton he hasn't led a race all weekend and suddenly pops up when it matters most in the final yep there it is and that is like you say it's where it matters and where it matters is that uh, he is leading and comfortably as well. Nearly a second gap he's got to Oliver Appleby at the moment. And of course, these drivers still running the same tyres from this morning. So, of course, over the races that we've had today, they've just worn down and worn down. It depends. That's maybe why he's just stayed at the back. It's only yeah, a small yeah. grid of carts. He's just, let's just stay yeah. at the back. Let's just look after the tyres. Yep. Don't overcook them. And then come the final, I'll have the grip. Bam, and there you go. Excellent, excellent point. Uh, you're probably probably correct in this, you know, because these are the 177s. They have jobs in the real life, mm. which means some of them have developed a brain. Yes. That's frightening for car racing. Right? Yeah, frightening thought. But that. of course, yeah, there's, <laughs> so there's, there's a tactical thing. And there goes Ben Davis at the inside of Oliver Appleby for second position. So now Davis has got to get his head down. He's got clear tracking for him. Here comes Lewis Larger on the outside. So the Coles racing carts looking very, very strong. They go through two and a half minutes left on the clock then and the gap between Easton and Appleby uh, which isn't Appleby anymore because he's dropped Ooh, back a few more positions. If Lewis Large makes that work he deserves a medal and it doesn't quite happen he's now under pressure but he thought about going around the outside at the final corner to pick up a place and uh, you know yes he's looking over his shoulder so Ben Davis I mean I have to say Matthew Easton one and a half seconds up the road two minutes to go uh, you know the, the, the threat of rain in the air and uh, ooh, that was uh, Colin Davis. So he's leading the Masters class. Is Colin Davis uh, the second driver in the Masters class? James Offerton is out there in tenth place. Uh, ben Cowley is still ninth. Charlie Whaley is still eighth. And then you're looking at seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first in the same camera shot, which on lap 22 of the final is very good indeed. It is indeed. 90 seconds left on the clock as we look here. At the 86 of second place, it is Ben Davis. He's uh, one and a half seconds down from the race leader at the moment, Matthew Easton. It is only two tenths of a second up from Oliver Appleby, but Appleby struggling on the tyres that he's got at the moment. And that is playing havoc with it. And I think also, who's this that we're looking at? The 29, this is a little further down as well. Henry this is Henry uh, Ayres. Ayres, yes. Henry Ayres in sixth place at the moment. He's down one spot from his original starting point for the final. Less than a minute to go now. Less than a minute to go. There's the man that's got all the work to do if he's the catch leader. Although pretty much I think it's going to take a mistake from Matthew Easton to stop him from claiming victory here. Uh, Coles racing. Red speed chassis, 
in control, and I have to say, you know, we're, uh, I haven't got the grid in front of me, but I mean, Matthew Easton started third, so he was not out of contention, but he just was quiet. He wasn't, he didn't feature in the lead battles that much, uh, to be fair. And uh, so when it matters most, he's come to the front. So Davis second, he's broken off Appleby's challenge. Appleby is now going to be looking behind him because Lewis Large and Carton the 13 could be the next one on his. It's going to be knocking at the door. So to speak, Colin Davis recovered really well from a dreadful day yesterday. Uh, he's recovered well to, to run in fifth position. Then it's Henry Ayres. Chris Thomas, again, has faded a little bit. So maybe maybe the GMS team carts uh, just haven't quite got the the pace over the longer race distances. We've seen both Appleby and, and, and Thomas struggle a little bit. Maybe it's tyres. Maybe it's the way that the cart uses the tyres. And uh, you know, certainly, you know, that is a grey sky and um, there's, there's not droplets of rain over the circuit. You're going to be going out to speak to uh, our winner on the final lap, and it looks like it's going to be Matthew Easton. I like, you know, don't want to say too much just yet. He looks over his shoulder. Ben Davis has got the gap down by a couple of tenths, but he's still over a second in the But so far, oh, they're good train for third. So the battle for the final podium spot. Lewis Large has caught Oliver Appleby. Uh, Colin Davis wants a piece of the action. So does Henry Ayres, but one corner to go and it's going to be a win provisionally in 177 for Matthew Easton. That's a great win from him. 1.2 seconds further up the road as the rest of the field cross the line. Ben Davis, Oliver Appleby holds on to that last spot on the podium there despite the difficulties which it looks like he's having with his tyres at the moment. Yeah, so uh, look, there's some of the other drivers. Chris Thomas coming across the line in seventh. Charlie Whaley is eighth. Ben Cowley comes home in ninth. And James Ockenden rounds out the top ten. So, uh, so it's a, a win for Dan Holland Racing, now a win for Coles Racing. And uh, Matthew Easton brings the number 95 car back to the pack, where Anthony Jordan will be, Anthony Jordan and uh, extended microphone, so that we are, of course, adhering to all social distancing rules, will be waiting for him. And uh, so Easton, Davis, Appleby, Large, then Colin Davis, no relation, at the top five. Henry Ayres, Chris Thomas, Charlie Whaley, Ben Cowley, and James Ockenden on his British Championship debut. They make it to the end. Now, it's the skies have darkened. There's no rain, even though that looks like it's wet. Uh, no rain on the track. And oh, look at that. Um, Lewis Large's race suit is magically, the zip has reattached itself. And it's back to how this was at the start of the race. Haha. <laughs> Here is the view of the paddock or the Park Fermi area. The 177 mechanics being waited. So Matthew Easton's Coles racing. Uh, can't now. That's Tom Holland in the middle of the screen with a with a black T-shirt on. That's Tom Holland who is mechanicing. I can't remember who he's mechanicing for. Now he was a, a very very skilled. 177 driver back in his day and uh, sure if he's still mechanics yeah so he mechanics for Ben Davis getting a well done there for second place um, always good to see Tom in the paddock he's a, he's a good character you know he doesn't necessarily get caught up in the hysteria of uh, the racing like some other mechanics do he's a very calm voice of reason and he's just guided his driver to second place in the opening round of the British Championship and you have to say well done to the 177 drivers for getting through that that was a, a tough physical test and uh, i don't want to be the harbinger of weather related uh, the, the, oh, sorry the harbinger of meteorological doom but the skies are darkening and the wind is bringing uh, a, a small amount of precipitation towards the circuit as we have three races to go before we get to that, there will be a chance to speak to a victorious Matthew Easton. And uh, good to see three different teams. But I think we have Anthony Jordan with our Rotax 177 race winner. Well, again, joining us down in the scrutineering bay where we're about to get run over by carts probably again. Matthew Eaton, a fantastic victory from that one. Over a second of a gap uh, to the man in second place. You must be thrilled with that one. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Um, 
Struggled with pace all weekend, um, changed a few things on the cart for the last two races and found a lot of pace. Um, just needed the crack down on consistency, making a couple of mistakes in the pre-final, so had to nip them in the bud for the final, but overall really happy with, with the finish. Like. Uh, so yeah, earlier on today, it, it didn't look like it was on the cards for a win today in the final. It looked like we were thinking it must have been on tyres. You looked like you held, looked after your tyres throughout today and you had them for the final. Yeah, I mean, tyres ended up really good um, compared to everybody else's. Uh, looking at the grid before the final, we had quite good tyre. Coming into the round, we did know we did know that we were going to struggle with tyre. Um, just with big, heavy lads, a load of races on them. Um, but yeah, tyres felt really good. Awesome. Well, before we get run over by a load of cuts on trolleys, uh, congratulations, well done and win. Thank you very much. Just like to say a big thanks to my dad for the spanners. Absolutely amazing job all weekend, um, all the way through my carton career. HRS engines, um, supplying really good engines all the time. Coles Racing for the help this weekend. Um, and then just all my family back home, uh, all was supportive. Awesome. Well done. Congratulations on the win. Back to you, Henry. Thank you once again, Anthony. Uh, three races to go, and the next race will be Cadet Honda, and that will be coming up in a few minutes' time. The top privateer in the race, he was also the top Masters driver in fifth position, was Colin Davis. And uh, Colin has, uh, well, I mean, if he's in the Masters class, that means he's getting on a bit, and he's probably had to go for a lie down after that race. So we'll move on to the top three, finishing in third position, and as the top rookie, it's Oliver Appleby. Well then, Oliver, good stuff. Now, this driver, he spent, I think, the last six, seven years racing as a senior. But, I mean, he's uh, obviously must have a gym in his basement at home or something. He's done a bit of bulking up. Finishing as runner-up, it's Ben Davis. Your Rotax 177 winner, a great final after a quiet set of heats. He came good when it mattered. It's Matthew Easton. So, speak to, to Matthew now. Well, the only lap that counts, they say, is the last lap. Um, you led a bit more than the last lap, but was it a conscious decision to hang back in the heat, save the tyres? save yourself because it's it was very very tricky indeed wasn't it yeah hard race um to be honest struggled all weekend so it was more just knowing that the tires were going to be terrible in the final um but to be honest we just didn't have the outright pace in the heat um found a bit of time for the finals so just when i counted yeah, now i mean there's, there was only 10 of you and hopefully there might be a couple more at the next round but i mean none i mean the racing the heat wins between oliver and ben were, were, were spectacular indeed you know, you've got a very, very tough job on your hands. You know, you might only have nine rivals, but there's nine very strong rivals. And whoever wins this championship, you know, will have, will have really earned it. How are, you, how are you feeling physically after the, the weekend? Yeah, physically, um, tiring. Certainly not an easy track when you're doing 15, 15 minutes. Um, just watching the clock count down, it just felt like it was going forever. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the rest of the championship. It's gonna, certainly going to be hard. Well, thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you to Ben and Oliver as well. Some great racing. Ladies and gentlemen, your Rotax 177 podium.